think it's a fantastic legacy. I mean, as a teacher that was in technology, this is just an excellent way to honor her and, and honor her spirit. There's like an infinite number of possibilities you can do for a project. And well, I've heard uh, you know nothing but great things about Chris McAuliffe ever since my early days in teaching and uh, certainly someone that opened a lot of doors for us to think about and talk about and about the whole idea of touching the future and her her great outlook and I uh, have had the opportunity to meet her mother and, uh, and work with people who, who knew her quite well. This school, the Krista McAuliffe Elementary School, was the first school in the country that was named after Krista and we were invited, my husband and I were invited to their opening well, I think Krista's personality made her a great teacher. Uh, she loved people, she loved to make a difference, and she loved to do things, and she wanted to impart that to others. And I think that was her love of everybody that made her a good teacher. Actually, I, I never felt I really had a mission. I just kind of, things have fallen into my way. For example, I'm here now talking to you, you know. It's just something that she had started, and. If I'm asked to do this or that or the other, speaking to children or speaking to teachers, I feel that that's what she would have wanted me to do because she's not here to do it. And uh, I just want to try, hopefully, the best way I can to carry on her mission. Her main uh, goal was to talk to the children on Earth, which she was going to have two lessons, and she was going to reach children, and she wanted to make sure that they knew how important they were, how important education was, and that was her main goal. Well, I think Krista's first comments would be, isn't this fantastic for the students to be able to come and learn and find out that much more about space and the universe? and just learning. She, she was one very strong in terms of wanting everyone to get as much education as they could. Krista's uh, legacy is still very much a, a part of the Concord High School community. Our auditorium was dedicated for Krista. Outside there's a wonderful um, uh, oil painting of her. The library uh, also uh, has a, a beautiful painting of her. You know, I, I think it's part of my responsibility as the building principal at Concord High School to keep her memory alive, and I, and I take that seriously. Her, her legacy is something that we value, and, and students here are proud of that. In terms of reaching for the stars, Krista really was out for everyone, even those students that, that were not connected at the moment. She wanted them to become connected in, in whatever their own thing was, and it didn't matter. She, she cared about them as they were. She wanted them to be them, not, not somebody else. And, and that came through not just with students, that came through with, I believe, anyone that came close to her at all. She was inspirational. I uh, was a student here at Concord High in 1986 when the shuttle went up. Um, I didn't actually have her as a teacher, but I think the whole school really felt a sense of pride uh, about what she was doing. It really seemed like one of us was, was doing something special. Krista was an example of somebody that, you know, had a dream and didn't let anything deter her from uh, fulfilling that dream. Maybe some kids, you know, today will be inspired by that. She was always a free spirit. Even when she was a baby, she was a free spirit. Um, she did things that just amazed me. I had had no experience with children at all, but she walked, she talked, she did everything just normally and naturally. She was no problem whatsoever. And then as the other children came along, she just took them under her wing and uh, she was a natural. And I suppose you could say natural teacher. Yes, she felt that um, journals were part of history. And she taught her, her students, and she would use journals. And so it's not just what's in the history books, but it's what an individual is going through. And you only find that out by an individual writing their journals. And she said to me once, she said, Mom, I wish you had kept a journal. 
And I laughed at it because I said, Krista, I don't even like to write letters. I'm not, how am I going to keep a journal? And then, of course, then afterwards, uh, I got thinking about it a little bit, and that's when I did write a journal for Krista. I said, finally, Krista, I did it. <laughs> well, I suppose she's inspiring because here she's a, a person, an ordinary person. She's a teacher. She's in a classroom, and all of a sudden she gets this opportunity to go up into space. Well, kids, everybody look at her. You know, that's inspiring to see somebody do that. And particularly because her mission was to try to reach students, tell them how important they are, how important education is, but also how important teachers are. And that was her main message. <laughs>